Your intention that gets your brain motivated follows where you put your attention. attention. Now, when we focus, we bring our intention to bear, as I said, on the problem or the situation. How long should people aim to stay in this focused, zoned in state right. of attention? When you're focusing on things, it's yes, it's important to identify what the problem actually is, but you still need to aim at what you want to have happen. You need to be thinking about your target state and unlock your creativity to get there, not just obsess over what's wrong. Mike, let's talk about the power of focus oh, because we yes. all know that what we pay attention to dramatically affects the results that we get in our lives. And we want to build awesome lives. Yes. So. Your intention that gets your brain motivated follows where you put your attention. attention. So focusing intently gets you amazing results in a wide variety of areas. In fact, focus is the key to many areas of life, including problem solving and creativity and even hypnosis. Right, and focus is the antithesis of zoning out, which of course can be good in moderation, right? We can't stay focused all the time. Right, nor should you zone nor out. Nor should we zone all out the all the time. Right. Think of like a sinusoidal wave where we have these moments of focus and then we shift into moments of zoning out. I was focusing so, on your hand. Yeah, you well, that, yes. <laughs> but that's the key here is we need to make sure that we are using the power of focus, but not to the point where we think we must always be focused all the time, right? <laughs> yeah, you probably have a stroke, it's too much. Now, when we focus, we bring our intention to bear, as I said, on the problem or the situation. And focus activates large areas of your brain and it increases neuroplasticity as well. Setting up new neural pathways, it will improve your short-term working memory. And it even facilitates dopamine release, which is a feel-good reward chemical. Mm -hmm. So just increasing your focus can do all of these wonderful things in your brain. Okay, so let's talk about what you're focused on, whether it be problem solving or let's say building a new skill, like playing guitar okay. or maybe learning another language. How long should people aim to stay in this focused, zoned in state right. of attention? Well, it's ideal if you can spend about 20 minutes in it, is what I've found. That focused state for 20 minutes will get great results, but as few as 10 minutes mm -hmm. will give you great results. If you're learning something like to play guitar or learn to speak Korean, 10 minutes a day, every day, will get you better results than an hour on the weekend. I really like that. There's a technique called the Pomodoro, Pomodoro technique, I think it's called. Oh, I've never method. heard of that. Yeah, the idea is it's a 25 minute focused interval, and then you you plan your day around how many Pomodoros, how many 25 minute intervals oh, yeah, you, you work told me with. This before. Now you can take rests between them, and you should take at least a five minute rest between them. Does a reset. But yeah, it's, it's quite an amazing thing. I find that 25 minutes is about the max I can go with focus. Focusing, and then I, I want to take a break. Either I need a break or my ideas and my creativity is just not there anymore. No, that's it's sort of fizzle out. Our, our piano teacher, he does 25 minute lessons. 25. There you, there go. you go. That is exactly and His name the is Dave Pomodoro. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. You think of focus as a laser that you aim at specific areas of your life to detect areas that you want to improve. It could be things like relationships, right. your finances, your health. And when you focus on the positives, you can access the resources you need to make massive changes there. Right. And it's really Really important to reiterate, reiterate. It's really important to reiterate and pronounce it properly. That when you're focusing on things, it's yes, it's important to identify what the problem actually is. But you still need to aim at what you want to have happen. You need to be thinking about your target state and unlock your creativity to get there, not just obsess over what's wrong. Right. We want to find ways of focusing on effective techniques to depotentiate your own unresourceful emotional stuff. Get rid of it. If you know about submodalities, mm -hmm. which we teach, you can use NLP techniques to minimize the effect of stuff that's annoying you and maximize the great stuff. It isn't difficult at all. Right. And we and teach the six-step method as well, the six-step tapping. Mm -hmm. You can let go of negative emotions very quickly. Right. This, these are really good techniques. And of course, you can still use something like five minutes of self-hypnosis or meditation yes. or parasympathetic breathing, simply by breathing in and exhaling slowly while you're focused on what you want, which might be and in another video, we talked about compass statements. So it could right. be something like less stress, more enjoyment, more, oh, like more calm, more less of X, more of Y. And they don't even have to be connected, if you remember from our prior video on Not at all. making these GPS compass statements. So and even little five minute zone out sessions to calm yourself down, to then move into a work session on something that you actually want to build in your life that can be really, really effective. Exactly, that five to 10 minutes can calm your brain mm -hmm. and then your focus comes back with real power.
So make sure you're in the zone to effectively deal with what's important in your life. That starts by figuring out what you want, applying that 80-20 principle where you're applying the techniques to the 20% of your life that gives you 80% of your enjoyment or is causing 80% of your problems. And just do this stuff. Take baby steps, incrementalism every day, spend a little bit of time working on what's weak, making it stronger, and you will have an awesome life. Any other closing Amazing. remarks? No, you said it all. All right, so make sure you subscribe to our channel Ring that bell on, on YouTube so you'll be subscribed and notified of our new videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks again. And good, good night. night.